This Age Action Getting Started Kit How To Guide will help you to download an app. It's a shortcut that allows you to go directly to the program or the website that you wish to access. And if an app is not already on your phone, you'll be able to find it on the Google Play Store. On your phone screen, look for the Play Store. Tap on the image to open Google Play Store. The Google Play Store will open with a list of topics including apps, movies and TV, books, games, music and magazines. You may need to sign into your Google account to access this if you have one. A Google account and a Gmail account are the same thing. You can find out how to create a Gmail account from our How to Create an Email Guide. Press into the search bar at the top of the screen. Type in the app you want to download, for instance RTE News, and press search. Your phone may suggest on the top line RTE News. Tap on the app suggestion and the next screen will list all the suggestions of what you might be looking for. Tap on the one you want, in this case RTE News Now. Press Install. There are often a series of questions that come up when you download any app. Usually a privacy or terms of agreement page may show up first. Read what interests you and press I agree, allow or deny. Allow the app to download. You will see to the left a spinning circle. This means the app is downloading. Be patient, it takes a few minutes, and once the spinning circle stops, that means your app is downloaded. Press Open, and it will bring you directly into your RTE News app. When you're finished using your app, to find it again, it will now have appeared on your home screen as a picture. Some apps are free and others you have to pay for. When searching for apps, the price is clearly marked below the name of the app. If there's no price, well then the app is free to download. The app might say that there are in-app purchases. This means that some functions of the app would have to be paid for.